something serious is wrong with the direct deposit. My job. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel I feel like this is where I've started the vlog now for a while I'm going to work it's currently 5 48 but um I'm trying to see because I have a few errands that I have to run today not that I'm off or anything today I'm going to work but um I want to stop by the grocery store later but I also want to do my laundry I just have my um what is that called I just have my comforter and like some scrubs to wash honestly so because it's just the comforter and the scrubs i wanted to see if i could pop my little laundry mat and get it done really really quickly later on after i stop at the grocery store because the grocery store is always all the way out the block which is like where i get off the bus when i'm coming from work so that errand would have to be done first and then come home and then to the laundry mat I don't really know. I'm, oh. So I'm working on my grocery list. I don't understand why it's this long. This is crazy. So I'm trying to work on this grocery list here along with get a few other little things done before I have to leave and know that I want to go wash those clothes, honestly. And this week it looks like, I don't know what's going on with the direct deposit at my job, but it looks like we're going to end up getting checked this week as opposed to like direct deposit because something serious is wrong with the direct deposit job which is fine it's not that serious or like it's not the end of the world or whatever i'm also trying to see if i can pay my credit card bill since i'm standing here and my credit card bill is due the 17th but i always pay it from like the 10th just sold out you know i'm getting that out of the way we're not trying to play about that i wonder if i take that out in january if i do wrong I'm kind of all over the place, you guys, so I'm paying my credit card bill right now. I like buying groceries on my credit card because I get really good um, cashback rewards when I do that. And the cashback adds up and later on you can put it towards your credit card bill or do other things with it. With it, I've never used it to do anything other than put back towards my bill. So, and the grocery, when I, buy gro when I go to the grocery store, that is when I get the highest amount of like points for like that I can retrieve as cash later on. How much do I want to pay? $200. And I don't know about anybody else, but the way how I've been able to build my credit really quickly is by, you know how when you get a credit card, you have like a minimum that you, they give you to pay. My minimum is like $35 per month. I never just pay $35 just because that's a minimum. If I always try to pay off all of what I owe on there when I'm paying it back because normally when I use my credit card, I use it for something that I already had the money for to begin with. So I'm not putting myself in debt. Um, I always had the money. I just buy what I'm buying or use it to do what I'm doing and then I will pay it back a week later. And I don't have a good reason as to why I wait like a week. I think somebody had told me that at one point. So that is why I wait a week. But um, yeah, what am I what am I doing here? I'm kind of all over the place from that. Okay, yeah, so I'm paying 200 and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store later. I don't even know if I have cash on me to do laundry. I think I should. And when I do my laundry, <laughs> it'd be like the smallest amount because I don't have that much stuff. When I'm home, I barely wear anything. So for the most part, I always just have clothes that I wore to work, like scrubs, and like when I work at the other job, maybe like leggings and a shirt or, you know, something crazy like that. But for the most part right now, all my clothes are clean because I went to the laundromat last week, but I had my comforter that I wanted to wash last week, but I was not walking with it because the basket was full and I was not taking two, but the laundromat is right across the block. So I left it and said I was gonna go back a couple of days later. And I mean, this is essentially still a couple of days later um, for me to go back. I just didn't go yet. So I wanna go this evening because my day off is coming up and I don't actually wanna use my day off to do that because while last week when I went, I had two days off. So 
I could have gone one day and then the other day off, I completely just spent that in bed. This week, I just have one day off. So, um, I don't want to spend my day off like that. But yeah, but I also need to get stuff because my break has just been looking sadder and sadder as the groceries run out. So, definitely need to... I could really come home, go to the grocery store and Instacart, but I find out when I Instacart, I end up spending so much more money and the, I'm not gonna lie, the last experience that I've had, I'll link a video down below of like this sh crappy experience that I had the last time that really scarred me and I haven't bought on there since that. So that kind of sucks because I really liked buying on there, but the way how old girl dealt with my order, <laughs> I don't want to have to go through that again. So, um, I'm gonna put a few things in my pocketbook, put my watch on, my shoes, and I'm gonna eat a little cereal before I have to go. I have maybe like 10 minutes or so before I really have to like get cracking. So, I guess I will see you guys later if I end up doing any of the things that I just outlined. I really feel like I am, but I'll see you guys later. Hi y'all, home. This morning, I went to work, the nursing home, and my manager called not called, texted and asked if I could come in at the store after 3.30 because he knows that I leave um, the nursing home at 3. And, you know, normally if he's calling me like that, then, you know, obviously he needs the backup. Of course, when I went there, I felt like they could have done without me, but um, it was pretty cool. I go there tomorrow, however, oh, my hair. <laughs> How about crazy? I go there tomorrow. So I just switched with one of the girls and she's gonna work my 9.30 shift. Um, I'm gonna go in at 11 because a girl is tired, okay? I can't even pretend like I'm not. I'm gonna take this wig off too and sleep without it because I feel like if it's even twice for a week, I need to sleep with my hair out so that my hair can breathe and stuff. That's a cute little bun in the back there. Not really, but I have to put of things to charge up my watch their pod and um my phone we'll charge later on but for the most part today was a decent day today i just felt so tired and i was asking him yo can i just leave right now and he's like jadine no relax <laughs> and i'm just like bro i'm telling you that i'm tired and you think this thing is a joke but um as we know it i can't go in there and not buy nothing so i bought these little headbands to put around like my wig when i'm laying it down i bought this little comb with the metal tail but this one is very like it's so much stronger than them other ones Get it open. and it has like the separation with the with the teeth hair like a big gap so you can like use this part to part but i always use the the tip anyways so there's that you see him calling me and asking me to come in completely hijacked my plan of going to the laundromat and going to the grocery store so, not tomorrow evening, but on my day off, I'm definitely going to have to either leave and go to the grocery store or I'm going to have to take actual food with me to work the following day and just go to the grocery store the day after. But for right now, that is the plan that I have. Today too, I felt, I didn't really feel kind of hungry because I had late lunch at the nursing home. So I was pretty fine going there at 3.30, but I had some chicken nuggets and I had to make some coffee. Oh God. I'm feeling like I'm so dehydrated. Oh my gosh. I need to like just put away little things here and there. So let's go. This morning I was kind of running out of hair. And so I've also decided that I'm going to have to take a different bus in the morning because I don't want to be waiting until the very last second to like get there. And there's like no wiggle room and that's not really my style. So I ended up leaving like some cereal on the table and stuff, for which I'm having to get rid of right now. Some coffee but i had enough coffee today can't do this tomorrow i have to take this trash out and then on um, yeah but i have food in the fridge that i could take with me tomorrow so i don't need to stress myself right now and i'm definitely not hungry so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shower from early and just start laying down am i gonna wear this one tomorrow yeah maybe i think i'll put it on with freezing spray tomorrow I'm turn this pipe off. i don't remember what i was gonna do lost my chain of thoughts but we're gonna take this wig off so 
Y'all see, when I take it off, there's barely any residual glue. And my braids look real good right now because they are fresh. So I'm gonna just put some oil on my forehead along with some alcohol. But like when my forehead gets some time to like breathe and stuff. So that is why most times I really end up taking the wig off because it was okay. This right here is alcohol, which is what I use to take off the, resi the residual glue off of me. And then I'll spray the same alcohol on the small portion of the lace that has the glue so I can like clean it off. And I wanna clean this off before I go to bed because I will end up wearing this wig tomorrow. I need to throw away all the assignment paper from work. What I'm gonna do right now is just clean my forehead off and then I'm also going to clean the lace of the wig off and uh, maybe I'll try another one on to see if I wanna wear a different one tomorrow and give that one a little break because I've been wearing it for about two weeks at this point. Maybe wash it. I'm gonna be off the day after tomorrow so we'll see what I end up doing, but I still am going to clean it off tonight. And then I'm going to shower and go lay down like I told you guys. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one as usual.